In the deeply religious West Bank settlement of Itamar, over the weekend, terrorists broke into the home of an Israeli family, Ruth and Udi Fogel. This happened on Friday. It was a night of bloodshed that Charles Manson couldn't have imagined. It has left the Fogel family, uh, friends, and all of Israel in shock and devastated. But it seems to me, and maybe it's just because of the horrible tragedies that are happening in Japan, that people aren't seeing it, but it is worth stopping for a moment and recognizing that the mother and father of six were butchered to death along with three of their six children. Two boys aged 11 and 3 and a three-month infant girl. Um, I have the photos of the murder scene. I can't show them to you on television. But I have two small children. What kind of monster can butcher an infant? small child. According to the reports, the terrorists broke through the Fogel's window. They didn't notice a six-year-old boy who was asleep on the couch went right to the bedroom where they slashed the throats of dad and his newborn baby girl. Ruth, his wife, was stabbed at the entrance of their bathroom. Evidence looks like she tried to fight the terrorist. She lost. The killers then went on to slash the throat of the 11-year-old son who was reading in bed. Thank God they didn't notice the two-year-old asleep in his bed. But they went on to butcher the three-year-old. Two stabs right in the heart. After that, the killers locked the door and exited through a window and escaped. Well, here comes the 12-year-old, the daughter. She returned home that night. She found the door locked and asked her neighbor to help her get in. The neighbor woke up, the six-year-old sleeping on the couch by calling through a window. The neighbor then went home. Only when the young girl entered the bedrooms and saw these, except not in picture form, she realized her family had been brutally butchered. She ran from the house screaming. There is great and powerful evil and darkness. But if you think this is evil, Wait until I tell you how the story ends. Next. In the 1960s, I was too young to remember um, Charlie Manson, but uh, Bernadine Dorn talked about, yeah, and they stabbed the pregnant one in the belly. That's Bill Ayer's wife. Powerful evil. Um, I just told you the story of what happened in um, in Israel uh, this weekend and uh, the killing of this family. Pictures that I can't show you on television. It is horrific what they did. But if you think that's bad, now let me show you the pictures that I can show you on television. The reaction of the Gaza residents. I find this even more disturbing. After terrorist slaughtered a family, innocent babies. They passed out candies. One resident said the joy was natural, quote, a natural response to the harm settlers inflict on the Palestinian residents in the West Bank. The same people that danced in the streets to celebrate the deaths of 3,000 Americans on 9-11. We're living in times that I believe God will judge each of us for what we do and do not do. And if it's not God, it will at least be historians. I will go back to say what I said at the beginning of the year, there is great and powerful evil, but there is great and powerful light as well. Get into the light and stand in it, because evil is growing rapidly. El Shaddai, Lord God Almighty, 
You are our deliverer. Overcome our enemies and release over us the sound of your great victory. By your sovereign right hand, establish your rule over us and over our territory. Let your kingdom come. 